Hello and welcome to Factorio Single Belt. I'm Accretio and in this episode we will continue to uh, get rid of the Baitos and place walls. So let's get going. Oh, oh, for some reason I thought we were over there and not on the right side. Okay, so we're on the right side. That's fine. Shouldn't cause any problems. Let's get the Baitos down here removed. Hmm. Do I want a second setup over there? No. But I do want two setups over here. There we go. And that should be enough, I think, for this small base. I hope it is. Otherwise we are in trouble. Oh, is that? No cliffs. Okay. What do we have? Oh, we don't want to attack that base. But this base we kind of need to take out. So let's go and do that manually. Okay, let's retreat. Let the turrets take care of all of the fighters and spitters and then we continue to take out this base okay let's go now and now run 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 and let the turrets take care of that again okay so now let's have a look if we go over here then we end up at the top of this. Okay. Oh, that's not good coming to think of it. We can't even see this one. But the top of this is not good because then we won't have any place for our turrets. Oh, but actually it might not be too bad. Top of it. Something like that. And then we can just place our turrets in here instead. There we go. And a big power pole. And let's get rid of those two. Because those were anyway placed in the wrong area. And let's get new stuff placed instead. Okay, we can't get through there. That's good. That's really good. That's exactly what we want. Can we get through here? No. Okay, then let's continue with the wall building. We have that. We have the next one. Oh. Oh, we have to go all the way around here to get there. That's no big problem. Just need to know where to where to go, and we can do this. Oh, but maybe, just maybe we should. No, let's keep all of the turrets as we have them right now. They do protect a bit, I think. They might protect a bit if nothing else. And we know that if we don't have them, we will get into trouble. That's what always happens. Where? Oh, we can see the big power pole. There we go, and there we go. And now let's see if we can actually get over there. Okay, we have a cliff. Oh, it seems to be around here. Damn, it's hard to navigate through the forests with cliffs. Come on. Well, we can place the next area of our wall in the meantime. Yes, this turned out to be a great position, I think. Yes, we have that and we can't get through, which is what we want to see. Yay! Oh, and then we want to get some uh, 
power poles. Let's get over there and over here and over here. Then we do have another connection, which is more like the one we want. Not totally the one we want, but it's it's up there. <laughs> uh, oh, wait. This space is quite close. I think we should take that one out if we can. We don't have a lot of turrets left, actually. Oh, and there's one over here as well. Okay. So let's place a power pole and then place two sets of turrets and then shoot whatever we can. And hopefully this will get solved. Retreat, retreat, retreat. Okay, we need to grab a few of this tur these turrets and place them up here, I guess, just to get rid of this uh, that worm. Is that that's a big worm? That's not good. Okay, let's go to the right and take out this base instead, I guess. Retreat, get those spiders taken care of, get this bay, this spawner removed and then go back. And then we really need to get the rest of this base removed as well. So let's, uh, let's grab those turrets and let's see how far we can go with the next setup. That's fine. There we go. And we don't need that one. But let's get rid of it. There we go. Now we can pick everything up again. And go back. And there shouldn't be anything over here. No. Great. Oh. We actually want a radar as well. But don't worry about that right now. I think. Right now we just have our nice wall. But we need more turrets to continue uh, continue our expansion. Let's have a look at the map first of all. Yeah, we have bases all around. That's not good. Let's. Oh, we don't necessarily need this, but we do want a wall over here, so we will probably use this to expand over here. So let's just go up and grab a bit of turrets and some big electric poles. What does the turrets take? Battery, electronic circuits and steel plates. Then we can grab a bunch of those to be able to uh, to make our own turrets. Where are we? Okay. It seems that we have to take care of this base and maybe this base as well. Yeah. To be able to get Back to our uh, our spawn area. No, not our spawn. Oh, big worm, big worm, big worm, and big worm. Oh, that's not good. Not to get back to our spawn area, but to get back to our area. Run, run, run. But it turned out not to be too bad. I thought it would be a bit harder to take care of that one. This one isn't too easy, I guess, but it shouldn't be too bad either. We don't have a massive amount of uh, big worms, at least. Run now. We only have a few big worms. Which could be bad enough, don't get me wrong. But... Uh, yeah, this time it seems to work out okay. Although we get 
quite a bit damaged by all of these worms attacking us. I mean, it have nothing to do with us. We are just invading their land. There we go. Oh, let the robots get everything back. And that should be it. We need to go back to our base. Oh yeah, and then this line we should extend it downwards, of course. Yeah, we don't need to empty anything else right now. So let's just go back, grab our, uh, our train, our oil train, and go back. Oh, it's lagging a little bit. But it is probably because I haven't restarted my computer in quite a while. So it's kind of okay, except that it's not when you record. But, eh. For once, I'm not even gonna say that, uh, that it's okay or that it's not okay. I'm ju just gonna accept it. Damn, it's lagging. Actually, I should stop recording, but this is this episode, as far as I know right now, is only about getting uh, Baitos killed. So, if you're not interested to see a laggy episode about getting Baitos killed, you can stop looking now. If you are interested in seeing it, then please stop looking and go do something more productive. Or more fun. We are talking about batteries. Okay, we have some batteries at least. I can't see how many, but we have some batteries. Otherwise it would be at the very bottom of everything. And it's not. So let's grab a couple of stacks of those. Yeah, that's about right. Oh! We do have stuff we want to get rid of, like all of this wood, uh, this stone we don't need. How about the rest of the stuff? No, the rest of the stuff I think we want. Oh, if we have more robots, I want that. As, I want those as well. Oh, and more uh, repair packs. Yeah, so we need batteries. We need steel and we need green circuits. Green circuits. Oh, we can grab a bunch more. Green circuits, yes. But the batteries is the hardest thing. Simply because it's not often we get the... Uh... Oh, we have a lot of those. It's not often we have the... Uh... Uh, what do you call it? Copper plates, I think it is. Yeah, the copper plates get all the way over here to the, the battery area. But let's grab the lost batteries as well, then we are creating new ones. And we have that. Oh, it's actually steel we are missing. Let's go. We have batteries for quite a few more. Yeah, let's go and uh, totally remove all of the steel. Well, as much as we have to, to get the maximum amount of uh, turrets at least. There we go, and there we go. And now we have a few more, and it's still steel that is, that is the uh, issue. But I think... I don't think we will get any more steel and any more turrets. Let's go and have a look at what else we can do. What else we have to grab. And then maybe go back and grab a little bit more steel anyway. But we need power poles. Those big electric poles. Uh, we also need walls. No, we don't need walls. We have plenty of walls. But we need, I think, 
let's grab a couple of stacks of repair packs. Robots, we need robots. A lot of those, and we have robots over here, if we have any. We have none. No robots. Okay, that's kind of a problem. It's not really, to be honest, but it could have been a problem. It is an issue, but the issue is only that we have to say that, ah, sorry, no more robots. We have to use these, and when they are spent, we can't do any more attacking. Okay, if we go back to oil one now. Wait, stop, stop, stop. Why don't we have any more robots? Is there a reason? Actually, let's go to oil unload. Is there a reason why we don't have any robots? Um, well, of course there is a reason, but are we missing any... We don't have any heavy oil. That's fine, because we are turning it all into lubricant. We have plenty of light oil and plenty of petroleum gas. How is it? We have plenty of petroleum gas in the pipes as well. But not in these pipes, why not? Oh, because we have enough... Uh, enough sulfur. We don't need that. Okay, let's have a look further on the robot frames. They take electric engine units and batteries and steel plates and but electric engines. We have plenty of those. Do we have uh, robot frames? Maybe we do. I actually think we... Oh, we can see over here. We have no robot frames. Why don't we have any robot frames? We have... Uh, at least we have grenades. Robot frames? It's like something is missing for the robot frame. Oh, we have a free positive. But if we look over here, we have zero. Oh, have we accidentally stored them in this area? I think we have. I think that's the only ex explanation. Uh, that should be around here. There we go. Flying robot frame. Don't do that, please. Oh, it's not accidental. It's uh, intentional. It's just that I forgot to change it. When we got the robots, I've got to remove... Oh, come on. When we got robots, I've got to remove the setup over here for the robot frames. What about robots? Did we remove those? Hmm. Yes, we removed that one. Okay. So that's kind of okay. Now we should have a robot. No, we don't have the robot frames. But we should place them onto the belt. Where are they? There they are. Or how much does it take to create the robots? We can make those. Let's create them. Let's do what we can for to, to do that. And with a few electric engines, we can create more robots. And I'm walking past it because I'm thinking, nah, we don't need that. But why not do it? I mean, as far as I know, it takes batteries. And we need to have batteries for the... Uh, For the laser turrets, 
But let's grab as much steel as we can. Oh. Okay. We don't need as many walls as we have. 2000 is more than enough. Let's grab all of that. Create some more laser turrets. All of that, all of that. Additional laser turrets. And then we can create robots. Yeah. And we don't have enough. Uh, oh. Whoa. We don't have enough um, steel now. But that, that's okay. We have done what we can. And we will be doing even more. Now you go to oil one, please. Oh. Yeah, that's true. There is another train on the track. And that have to be removed before you can go. Please stop lagging. Okay, so now we have this oil train. Oh, please, you go to oil one. And then once you get there, oh, and uh, time post five seconds and, and please go there. Yeah, I know I'm messing with the train. I just want it to park over here and then I want to set it to manual. That way it's here when I need to get back. Okay, let's have a look again. So next thing, wait, isn't it this wall complete? No, oh, that's where we have cliffs. That's no problem. Next wall is over here somewhere. And I'm thinking in the middle to have loads of turrets but then we need to fight off those that base and we can also see over here how everything looks but we need to go down quite a bit down and yes we are creating turrets and walls as we go along oh not walls uh, robots as we go along and uh, we are basically using all of our resources to do that, so hopefully it's enough. Oh, did I grab? I did grab a lot of uh, power poles. That's good. So the goal, not for this episode, but the goal in a wider context is to explore a little bit to the right get like all of this cleared from Baitos and build walls and then I guess build uh, turrets along our power line and that's the first goal the second goal is to do the same on the left side but we can leave that for a little bit just to make sure that we get one side done and we remove all of the Baitos and then we get the other side done Okay, yeah, we can walk through here. Let's have a look. Actually, all of these turrets, we don't need them. I mean, we need, we have the turrets down below, protecting over there. We have those turrets. We have a few turrets. Well, from that one and on, we don't need them. We have these turrets protecting from above this path. But all of the other turrets, now we can collect them and use them for uh, the next attack. Do we have enough inventory space? Yes, I think so. There we go. And yes, the robots, as usual, they aren't the fastest ones. And we still have the power connection down here. So we still have a protection from the right and from above. 
So let's go over here, take out this base, go down, take out this big base. And then we see what we do. We have like two stacks of turrets now. That's a good amount. It's not a great amount, but it is definitely a good amount. Okay, that should be enough to get everything created. And this base, oh, that base wasn't as big as I thought it was. Basically let all the robots get back and then we just attack. Oh, I didn't pick up any ammunition. We run, run, run. Oh, there was a big, a big bike. Door. I didn't see that one. Then I guess we need to advance a bit. I, I can't hit the right button, apparently. Okay, that's it. And then we don't need all of these turrets anymore. Let's have a look. How is it from above? Well, we do have this space. We should go in and take out these worms. Let's do that manually. But we should also grab those. And then we have like a small... Just a small, uh, wait, what? I don't know, maybe I marked something to be demolished over there. Yeah, maybe, I don't know. Yeah, a small defense from below. We have a bit of accumulator charge, but it's better to take out the, uh, the worms now. Yes, I can see them. Better to take out the worms now, and then uh, during daytime we can continue to attack bases. Worms are gone, and actually what we could do, let's put the power pole in here, and then we could put the defense in line first. Oh. That doesn't match up, but it's okay to do it this way. Then we have the defense line and we can create a gate for us to run through. Oh, we need to get the whole defense line finished. And then we have some protection from below and we can remove these turrets over here. Of course, we need some power poles, at least one power pole to get everything uh, connected. But then we can go and take out these spaces. How many? We, we have 49 robots and like two stacks of uh, two stacks of uh, lasers. Come on, can't afford not placing the turrets when I tell you to. Okay, let them do their first attack, take out all of the biters from that, and then we can go in right into the base, I think. And just place everything. Oh, do we have power problems? Yes, we have power problems. Let's, oh, we are using as much of the power as we can. Yeah, retreat. We need to get rid of a few spawners. Retreat again. Okay. No, it's okay. Kind of. I mean, we are still lacking power. And we don't have any accumulator charge. But it seems like they are shooting continuously at least. All of the turrets are shooting. 
that's the best thing ever. Oh, let's take these two as bonus, that one and this one. And then I don't think we have to go further down to take out any more spawners, or do we? Nah, the other bases, they can stay. We don't mind too much. We don't mind about the biters, we mind about the biters that attacks us. They should know that we are superior to them. Oh, we can grab fish with the robots, I did not know that. Fancy. Yeah, that, that is actually something I intentionally avoided setting up uh, setting up a chest to get the fish. Because why would we ever get fish? But apparently I shouldn't have done that. We are getting fish. Okay, so that area is clear. Now let's go to the right and investigate this. Is that... Is this uh, one big sea, one big lake, or is it two lakes, or more lakes? Oh, it's more lakes. Oops. I guess that a wall around here, and then we need to take out this base. I guess that's uh, what we're gonna do. But first we could actually fix the power to this base, because it... Oh, we don't have any more grenades. Oops. It is working, but it's not ideal the way the power works right now. So let's do that, and then let's get... Uh, let's get some power poles clunked down. Hopefully no biters attacks right now. Because if they do, they are going to destroy us, a bit at least. There we go, we have that. Actually we could move it for, oh, yeah, uh, can't we? save a little bit we are talking about like two spaces to actually get this into the proper into the proper location okay, we can't place it over there we can place it over there let's see this is the One square? Oh no. Uh, well, never mind. We'll just place it there. There's nothing mu much to do. And then we go from here. Let's see. If we go like that, it should work out. But could we move this? Move that power pole, place it somewhere to have access to both this power pole, this area, and this power pole. Yes. Great. That worked out fine. Now let's continue over to this area. Come on. Over there is fine. And then we should have another power pole over there. And now let's wait. Yeah, I was gonna say let's attack, but no. We don't have any accumulator charge. And well actually we well we got enough accumulator charge in the end, it looks like. Otherwise it wouldn't have 
load that much but it seems that we have a problem with accumulators definitely we should wait just a little while to see uh, oh to see that the accumulators are actually charging and while we do that we can place place uh, a radar to see what is happening around here and nothing much actually it's not too bad it's just this space maybe this space that we need to get rid of of course we can see this uh, distinct line which is uh, I dare to say it is the updates that are generating the maps differently so it shouldn't be a big problem not really okay so now our uh, steam engines have stopped again and our solar is slowly charging the accumulators oops so I think it's time to go and attack first a uh, defensive wall and then attack and we just go in and do everything it should be kind of okay I mean it's it's not a big base and since we have the robots doing the dangerous work it's actually pretty easy okay there we go now let's pick the stuff up again and we can go back and build our uh, our wall where did we say we want it One idea is to put it back here. No, that doesn't line up. What about over here? Yeah, that lines up. Over there and... Over here. That's fine. Didn't the robots didn't pick this one up for some reason? Oh, and we got one of those that takes forever. Oh, it's coal. No, please don't do that. I think that my idea for next research is to get the. Uh, what do you call it? To get the logistics trash slots. Then we have a little bit more storage. Because now we are doomed to either run with something in our hands or leave something behind. And I don't like either of those ideas. We do have enough robots. Enough space for the robots at least. But okay. Or we can just continue to attack and then we should get uh, hmm oh but we can't because when I need that we can't get it oh we could just put all of these power poles down Then we have exactly the amount of space we need. Great! That is crap. But then we just go and pick up all of these power poles and it should be okay. And when we go to attack, probably some robots and some uh, turrets will get lost. Of course, we will grab other things as well. Oh, wait. Hold the power is actually good. 
Is it daytime or nighttime? It is going towards nighttime, but we hesitated too late. Now we just need to go in and do this. Get the base removed as fast as possible before the uh, accumulators discharge on everything else. And the base is gone, and we still have plenty of accumulator charge. Great. Okay. So, oh, one. Let's kill it. Okay, so what we have right now. Did we accidentally get the power poles correct over here? It seems like we did. Yes. Goody. Oh, is this correct? This uh, wall? Can we get through? No, we can't get through. Good. Let's collect all of the robots right now. And there we go. Okay, so we have that. Let's go around this forest. Oh, that's a big forest. Hmm. We have a few laser turrets. I'm actually gonna say let's not attack anything more in this episode. Instead, let's go and place laser turrets along our uh, power lines over here. And call it an episode because this lag is starting to irritate me. And one way of getting rid of it, I think. Okay. One way of get to get rid of it, I think, is to restart my computer. It might be something else that is causing the lag, but restarting the computer, at least it doesn't make, uh, make it worse. Let's see, okay. Those are fine as they are. We need to come back and collect all of the, uh, all of the turrets and all of the power poles later on. But right now we just need to place laser turrets and go back to our base. Actually, we should place that in there and we should make another blueprint. Blueprint with the turrets with, oh, with the wall outside. Blueprint. Yeah, that's exactly what we want. Because this way we can uh, have the turrets a little bit protected. Not from spitters, I know that. But at least we can get them, get the walls protected from uh, from the worst. Biters, the big biters. From the biters, yeah, that's what they are called. So let's get this placed all the way up, starting here, and then all the way up. And, oh, robot worker speed free, yes. Uh, logistics robots, no. Character logistics slots. Oh, they require the logistic robots. Let's do this. I want the logistic slots. There we go. But let's take this base out as well. We can just go up and do all of this in one go, I think. I mean, we have a lot of robots and we have a lot of turrets and apparently not, we don't know the reach of our turrets, oops, but yeah, 
that it's that oh let's get all of the robots back well all of the robots that were delivering things at least and then we can get the uh, turrets placed as we go along and we just have to see if some robots uh, go get left behind then we stop and wait for them but this should be this basically should be a good defense for uh, Baitos trying to cross this imaginary line. Oh, that wasn't completed. Let's make sure to get it complete. Oh, we don't have a lot of turrets left. Oh, we have the 50 more over there. Okay, we have enough laser turrets to do this, at least down here. Up by the, uh, by the railway. I don't know if we have we have room to do it everywhere but either way once this is done and we start emptying out this area all of the turrets down here we can start moving up or oh, we should continue with this line downwards as well but we kind of have a worse defense down there but we have a small defense for Baitos uh, going left to right okay and go to manual please oh you are goody now let's have a look we want to make sure that we are the ones on this uh, on this track oh we can't do hmm i'm thinking we can't defend all of this well we can't defend all of it with the walls and it's the left side that is most important to defend with walls so let's go with the turrets without defense how about that no not even there let's go with that let's go with those oh, we only have 18 turrets left do we have the possibility to build any more turrets? No. Which I didn't think we would have. Two turrets left. Oh, but now we're in in the forest, so it's a bit harder for the biters to move over here. So let's ignore that. Actually, you go to unload, and then we let the uh, the other trains go as they want as well, and we can get rid of this damn lag. And let's have a look at the wires. Well, we are still missing things. Of course, we are. That's not surprising at all. We do actually seem to have enough steel at the moment. We are missing uh, science packs. We are missing uh, what are they called? Stone bricks and robots. Oh, talking about missing things. We should get things back that we don't want in our inventory. Things in our inventory that we don't want, we should get onto the belt. That's what I tried to say. It's not what I said, but it's what I meant to say. There we go. Anything else? Oh, we don't need that many power poles. Even though I picked them up before, I know it was my own fault. And it seems that we don't need a ton of walls. I mean, when we have uh, cleared the area... We can always go and pick up more walls. That shouldn't be a big problem. I think we have... Oh, that and that as well, of course. Yeah, I think it is kind of okay now. But let's have a look at the production. Yeah, we are missing stuff. 
but it seems that we are actually it's actually not that bad except maybe no we do have a lot of a uh, lot of stone as well maybe we should change a few of the stone inserters to the uh, fast inserters let's change this one and this one that way we we will get more stone onto the belt and more walls being made basically and of course we are using the longer lines because they will empty out faster and those are the uh, problematic ones no not problematic but those are the ones that we want to empty out we don't have enough sulfuric acid is that intentional it's because of this one which is batteries we don't have enough batteries this should be a bit faster i think not y but x then we should get a bit more we should get batteries made a little bit faster and everything should be a little bit better oh yeah oh we what is this that is for robot frames okay but we do have 19 engines that's not too bad at all not at all let's look at this once more we have we are lacking walls that is being done it's the uh, stone we are lacking robots but we lacked 100 before so they are getting done we are lacking a bit of uh, a bit of minus why are we lacking minus I mean, it's not a complex recipe. Oh, they're being used by the blue science. But we aren't researching anything with blue science. Why do we have a negative amount of blue science? And we do, yeah, on the belts we have a few minus. Why are we lacking blue science? Because we don't get any advanced circuits. Although we have this set up with blue science, yes. So we should get ones. We should get those emptying out at intervals. Come on. W equals one okay <sighs> yeah so we need to have a number but then i think it's too fast not w why since it was wrong we got way too many but blue science that will be solved Oh yeah, we need, for those we need four circuits per uh, 12 seconds. That's more than enough. Anything else we are missing that we don't know if it will get solved or not. Or that we think it's strange. What about the green signs? We are lacking transport belts. And why are we lacking transport belts? because those are connected to this one the inserters is also connected okay the green science one inserter one transport belt 
y and this is set to z. Okay, we should definitely have the same amount of those two. Maybe, well, maybe more inserters, but for the research, we need one of those and one of those. So I think that should help out a bit. Now let's have a look. What? Oh, let's not look over there. It's all a mess. Let's instead look over here and see. The purple is okay. Black is good. Yellow is good. Black is good. Okay, so wait. We have a lot of blue over there. We have blue over there as well. So we basically have all of the science packs. I'm thinking of increasing them. How are we on speed modules? We have 195 plus speed modules. That's not bad at all. I'm more specifically thinking about increasing the amount of yellow science packs from f minus 30 to maybe 50 or 100. But what is the and goal it is the rocket silo that doesn't require that much yellow science well it requires a thousand plus 300 so not that much but maybe we should start stocking up on it already i think we should Let's change the amount of yellow science to minus 100. And then we will, of course, lack yellow science and a lot will start producing. But then we get 100 and then we can stop again. And then we can change it to 200, 3, 4, 5 and so on until we have it all the way up. And then we can do the research without having to worry about the yellow science. It feels like the rest of the science we have a kind of under control. The purple ones, or they take the electric engine unit, but we have that under control. We have the electric furnace kind of under control. We have uh, ammo and grenades and kind of gun turrets under control. We have these under control, these and uh, these base resources we have under control, but it's the yellow ones we don't have under control. What changed now? Well, we are feeding out a lot of items. By the way, oh, we are still lacking a lot of uh, a lot of laser turrets. We have twenty-five. What are we lacking? We are lacking batteries. Oh, maybe we should empty out the batteries just a little bit faster. Uh, oh, yeah, we have set it up like that. It's so not Y, but X. Then it's a little bit faster, and hopefully that will help out a bit. But... Is there anything else we want to do in this episode? Yes. Is there anything else we will do in this episode? That's the next question. Yes, we will change this from 100 to 200. Just because we want a lot of robots when we attack. But no, we want it set to 100. Then we can always have a hundred in our inventory and go and get another hundred when we want to attack. That's the way to do it. And there is one other thing that is bothering me a bit. And it is this, uh, this pump. Let's get that changed. We want normal normal pipes then yes it is a little bit hard to control it but it's still possible to do 
Anyway, that's it for this episode. Thank you a lot for watching. If you want to be to see more biter killing, please watch and watch the next episode or some future episode where I will well first of all I will get a lot of uh, turrets and then I will go out and do like this general area talking about getting stuff before I end this episode I should get a lot of steel into my inventory and create a lot of turrets manually there we go and there we go and we have no batteries okay yeah I put those back onto the belt whoopsie so I guess we just have to go down and uh, grab a bunch of batteries then like those batteries and then we can make five okay it's not as many as I thought oh there is actually one more thing that I totally forgot about and it's fish oh let's have a look over here where we we need to find the fish and then add it in the correct location. Fish, okay, it's raw resources. So it should. Oh, we have it already. We actually have a fish set up. I thought we didn't set that up. Okay, now we have everything we need. Thank you a lot for watching. See you in the next episode. Bye.